فَإِذَا سَمْوَيْتُهُ وَنَفَقْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي فَقَعُوا لَهُ سَاجِدِينَ So when I have fashioned it and shaped it, when I have given final touches, you know, to it, and completed its formation, and I have breathed into him from my own soul, then fall down before him in prostration. This ayah is very important, very important. As to know the reality of man, human being, he is not only an animal, like the other forms of life on this planet. He has something else within him, and that is divine. Not from this clay. This body comes from this clay. It will return to this clay. But the soul came from above. And it will return from where it had come. So this must be understood. We have a, so, so to say, a composite existence. An animal as well as angel. There is a very good couplet, very beautiful couplet of Sheikh Sadi Rahmatullah in Persian. Admi zada turfa majunast. As farishta sarishta was haiwan. This, you know, human being is a very strange sort of mixture. In every human being, there is a farishta. An angel is also there. An animal is also there. This our animal existence, this body, has all the animal instincts, all the shortcomings of animals, all the desires of the animals, all the lusts of the animal, everything, all the weaknesses of the animals. But now there is that angelic form also, the divine spark, the divine spirit which was blown to us. And that is a really me. That is really you. You know, I was just mentioning the name of Confucius. Uh, no, it's not Confucius. It is from Upanishad. A very beautiful sentence. Upanishads of Hindus. The ancient scriptures of India. Man in his ignorance identifies himself with the material sheets which encompass his real self. Your real self and there are, you know, encompassing things, this physical body. It is encompassing, enveloping your real self. But you, in your ignorance, think that this is I, this is me. No, this is not you. You are something within it which possesses this body. When I say this is my body, who is me? This is my body. I possess this body. Who is that me? That me is actually that self, that khudi, that ana, that is actually divine from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Faida sawaytuhu wa nafaktu. And this is one of those ayat which are repeated exactly in the same words in the Quran. This comes in Surah Al-Sad exactly in these words. Faida sawaytuhu wa nafaktu fihi min ruhi faqahu lahu sajideen. In the 23rd part of the Quran. Fasajad al-malayaka tu kulluhu majma'oon. That command, divine command was accepted by all the angels. So all the angels prostrated themselves all together. Illa Iblis, except Iblis. He was not an angel actually, he was a jinni. Kana min al-jinni rabbi. This we have in Surah Al-Kahf. But he was very learned, very knowledgeable, very pious. So actually, he was very near the malaika, near, and he kept the company of the angels. So that was also, so to say, addressed when that command was given. Illa Iblis, he refused to be among the prostrators. Allah said, Ya Iblis, what happened to you? What is to you? That you are not becoming one of those who are prostrating. Now here he is saying in a very degrading tone 
This is not befitting for me that I should prostrate before this Adam, before this, this man whom you have created from that black mud which had become sticky, foul smelling and then it, you know, it dried up and became sulfal kal fakhar khalaqal insana min sulfal kal fakharin which, you know, which sounds and which rings this is not my place that I should go before him. Allah said, okay, now you get out of here because now you are cursed. And now this curse of ours will remain upon you till the day of judgment. And he said, O oh Allah, O oh my Lord, now give me respite till the day of resurrection. Allah replied, okay, you are from among those who are given respite. Till the day of the known time. A time is going to come, that day, that last day will come, and till that time you are given respite. He is living the same jinni. No prophet of Allah has been living. All died. Except for Hazrat Isa, he, he was raised alive and he will come and he will also die that will come to him but this jinni this this jinn azazil was his name personal name iblis is his so to say title iblis in arabic means the one who was absolutely despaired and disappointed he had he has now no hope that allah will forgive him but then he says well i when i don't have any hope well i'll try to take as many as possible along with me to the to the hell and this is what he is bent upon now he said in a challenging tone oh my lord because you have misled me you have sent me astray now i shall adorn and beautify the wrong path for them in the earth for the progeny of this human being, Adam. And I will take all of them on the wrong path. I will lead all of them to the wrong path. Except those of them whom you yourself choose. Mukhlas, please note again. It is not Mukhlis, not the sincere one. Some translators in English, they have mistranslated it in a wrong way. This is not Mukhlis, it is Mukhlis. Whom Allah chooses. And you know, He chooses them to be His bond man. Allah said, Okay, this is the straight path with me. That is agreed between you and me. Inna ibadi sultan. You will have no power, no authority over my bondsman. Illa mani tabaka minal ghabin. Except those who are themselves trying to go astray and they follow you. First of all, they choose the wrong path. Then you take them anywhere you like. But you know, people who choose me to be their Lord, you will have no power over them. And Jahannam and hell will be the place of their promise for all of them. It has seven gates. And for every gate of this, this hell, there is a portion assigned. Different types of crimes, different criminals will be passing, entering that hell through different gates. In As I have told you many a times, wherever there is the mention of Ahlul Nar, as a simultaneous contrast, the Ahlul Jannah are also mentioned. In the Muttaqina Fijan, nothing more you. Verily, who are God fearing, they will be in the gardens and the springs. Salamin Aminin, and it will be said to them, enter there in peace and security and tranquility. And we shall take out from their hearts if there is some enmity, some ill feeling towards each of them, towards one another. 
اخوان ان ناؤ دے ول بیکم ایبسولیوٹلی برادرس الا سرورین اینڈ دے ول بی سٹنگ ان کاؤچز متقابلین فیسنگ ایچ ادر حضرت علی یوز ٹو سے رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ دیٹ دس آیا واز ریویلڈ فار می اینڈ ا معاویہ رضی اللہ عنہ بیکاز دیر واز ڈسپیوٹ دے فوٹ وارز ایچ اگینسٹ ایچ ادر سو ڈیفینیٹلی دیر ور سم ایل فیلنگز یو نو ان دی ہارٹس but because both of them were the companions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam both will be admitted to jannah so allah subhanahu wa taala will take away from our hearts any ill feeling from each other and then we shall be sitting facing each other when you are you are enemies to each other you don't try to face each other you ignore you turn your face away even if you know per chance you you are going near him you just turn your face away but when there is love you face to face and you talk to each other wa nazana ma fi sudurihim min ghillin ikhwanan ala sururin mutaqabilin la yamassuhum fiha nasabun na neither the toil shall touch them in it wa ma hum minha bi mukhrajin nor they will be expelled from it now once entered entered forever 